Well, hi everybody, Scott Kelby here and welcome to Lightroom Tip Tuesday. And today we're gonna to look at how easy it is for you to start using Lightroom on your mobile device if you haven't already done it. So here's how to do it. First off, of course, this goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Go download the Lightroom app for iOS or from uh, for Android from the Google Play Store and get it installed on your mobile device, on your phone or your tablet. Okay, that was kind of obvious. Second part is just two things you have to do, only two things you got to do inside of Lightroom. Number one, up here in the corner, you'll see a little cloud icon. You're going to click on that. You're going to turn on syncing. Now, I am already syncing, so it says pause syncing, but you'll also see a button that says start syncing. Now, you can go ahead and click that because nothing bad is going to happen. It feels like it will, but it doesn't. It doesn't do anything. It just says, okay, that's step one. Now tell us what you want to sync over. It doesn't send anything over to your phone, nothing until you tell it to. You're just saying, I want to sync. Okay, Lightroom says what? Let's go ahead and choose a collection. By the way, it only selects collections. So it only lets you sync collections. So you have to be using collections. I'm using collections over here. I'm in the collections panel and we're going to go to these Cuba selects, right? And I'm going to just, here's all you got to do. Step two, go over here and you'll see once you turn on syncing, all these little check boxes show up. You're just going to go over here and you're going to click right on that syncing icon right there go click on that and it syncs the images over that is it now when you go on your mobile device and you look and scroll down <laughs> into Lightroom you'll see there's just one thing it's just these ones that you just did the syncing over and it just takes if not long at all just a little bit and they'll be over there on your phone and on your tablet and now you can edit on the go and by the way now that they're in sync remember that's a key thing your desktop Lightroom Classic and your mobile are in sync. If you make changes on the mobile device, if you make something brighter or darker, or you resort it or change the order or delete, that's going to sync back to your desktop. So the two always stay in sync. That way you don't have one set of edits on one device on your phone and then another set of edits on your desktop. Nope, they always stay in sync. Well, there you have it, folks. Thank you for watching this Lightroom Tip Tuesday.